Landed a union job. I'm gonna retire from this place. Just started at a new job at a union. USW. Cement plant. I had been driving trucks for the last 14 years and it was slowly killing me. On my first day I had to call off to take my mom to the ER. The only thing my boss asked me was if she was okay. And if I could call him, whenever was convenient, to reschedule orientation. On my second day I signed up for medical, dental, and vision insurance. Total cost out of my paycheck is about $125 per month for my whole family. Me plus wife plus kid. I also signed up for the company-sponsored pension plan. Profit sharing. Short and long-term disability. And a 500k life insurance plan. The last trucking company I worked at offered me a terrible health insurance plan three days before my two weeks notice was over. I worked there for over six years. 70 plus hours every week. No paid holidays. Sick days and only a week of vacation that the boss demanded we cash in every year. After 90 days of employment with the new job I'll have two weeks of vacation. And after one year it'll be three weeks. After two years four weeks. And so on until you cap out at eight weeks of vacation time. I took a pay cut when I took this job but overtime makes up for it. And it is absolutely optional. Working on Sundays. Today. Is double time. So right now I'm being paid $45 an hour to sit in an air-conditioned room with the guy. That's training me and unload a barge. I'll be here for the next 15 hours. And I'm off tomorrow so I get to make my family breakfast and take my son to school. In the last week I can already feel my back and legs hurting less from simply walking around. Not being stuck behind a steering wheel all day. I think I might cry. Get the fuck out of whatever you're doing and get into the trades and into a union. This shit is truly too legit to quit. Wait what? A company can be competitive with wages, benefits, vacation and paid holidays and not go bankrupt? Good to hear you made a positive move for yourself and your family. Be active in the union. Continue to fight for better conditions. It can always improver. That's awesome and I'm truly happy for you. I do offer some advice. You will get out of your union what you and others put into it. Go to the meetings. Know who's running for and holds what offices. And speak up when necessary. Finally getting the respect you deserve. Good on you. I love my union job. Can they be ineffective sometimes? Sure. But they cover everyone. Whether you pay dues or not and they won us a pretty massive raise just this last year. I make more. I have health care. And my working conditions are stellar. No one who has an effective union has ever been anti-union. Union trades need to get more recognition in schools. I live in a rural low-cost area. For reference I built a 3K SQFT house with a 1600 SQFT garage and bought 6.5 acres for less than 260K. And the operator's union scale is 40.50 an hour. Company funded insurance. Ability to build an insurance bank of up to 6 months in case you're out of work. $8.50 every hour you work goes into a pension and all required training drug cards, or safety training free though the union. And for reasons I have a hard time understanding they too are hurting for workers. Welcome to the movement brother. Been a member for a few years now. Never going back to a non-union gig. I also work in the concrete industry. Great benefits and very fair pay. Just make damn sure you use your respiratory PPE. Long-term exposure to silica dust is a silent killer. Union life is great. I just joined my local union last Monday. The benefits are crazy good. And almost free. My life has improved for the better. 
and I can provide reliably for .my family thanks to my union job. 777 Machinists and Specialty Mechanics So the difference between Europe and USA truly is unions. Welcome to the union life. Get involved. Fight. This is the way. Advice from a former union staffer. Get involved in your union. Become an officer. Get on the negotiating committee. In a few years there will be a contract negotiation. The company will try to take benefits from workers that aren't there yet. We used to call that the unborn in union parlance. Fight like hell for those workers because the people with secure pensions sitting at the negotiating table are too often willing to slit the throats of the next generation of workers for a nickel an hour raise. Facts from sitting at the negotiating table twice with a Fortune 500 company watching them swallow. Death to pensions and more for new workers for that nickel. It's how the wealthy class gets the middle class to eat their own young. It's disgusting. It's what has given unions a bad name. For years, I've heard snarky comments from my family about my unionized job. Then I casually mentioned that I'll be retiring on a full pension when I turn 61. Thanks yo my unionized job. Now I'm hearing how lucky I am. It's not luck. My friends. It was making a good decision when I was in my 30s. Good on you. And for the ones who came before to build that union and win those things for those to follow. Keep it strong. Hell yay brother! Exclamation mark. Union all the way sign of the horns light skin tone. My dude. I landed at a union job when I was 25. And I will never look back. Pension. Insurance. Good pay. Collective bargaining. Due process. All of it paid for in the blood of my predecessors who fought for our rights. I did shitty regional theater for years at minimum wage or lower plus housing. It was absolutely the industry culture. You go to college. You do summer stock for the valuable experience, you make no money. You work your ass off. Then you crawl back to some kind of dorm. Rinse and repeat. I got sick of it and joined IATSE. Going union was the best decision I ever made. I'm out of the game now. But it really was a brotherhood and it taught me a lot about the worth of a worker. I've been a union member since 1990. BRC, TCU nothing better than unionized labor. The sad thing is I work with clowns who hate the union. Maybe if they would read the agreement and by laws they'd realize what they have. It suck living in a Republican state. Been with a union for close to four years now and it'll never go back to non-union. Welcome to the club buddy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share and subscribe.